Hey, baby. How you doing today? Mmm, oh, yes, yeah, me. It's me again. How you doing, baby? What up with it? I got another picture for you. Here you go. Any thoughts? Oh, he's new. He is so cute. Is it the cat? I think that's the cat, right? I haven't seen him around lately. Where did he get to? Um, he I guess the there's a small chance he's still base, alive. So he should Somewhere in uh, South America. Do you know a secret? I saw Miller feeding Nuke when no one was looking. Meow, meow. Come here. Come here, kitty kitty. Come here. Nuke? Nuke. Uh oh, her head's gonna explode again. I'm so sorry. I'll have to show you another one another time. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid Fab: The Phantom Pain. In the last episode, um, what did we do in the last episode? Well, hmm. Oh, that's right. We captured little kid Eli Ellie I don't know how you want to pronounce it and I don't know or I should say I didn't really think of who it could be at least not during the episode but of course you know me I contemplate off screen I think about things I try to figure things out on my own you know and stop singing on screen game I gotta get out of here before the copyright music comes on but um, I'm gonna call in for my helicopter by the way Anyways, you, you probably would like to hear my true my true guess as to who he is now because I really really did think about it off screen and I really because there were so many people who commented on like you really don't know who it is come on you should know who it is and I'm like fine if I should know who it is then let me think about it let me really think about it and the line that should have gave it away and it should have been obvious to me after he said it was the part where he talked about how it's not over yet or whatever and then I really thought about it and you know his name's White Mamba. So he's probably one of the snakes. And I was like, he doesn't really strike me as a solid snake type. So it's most likely Liquid Snake. That's my guess. Please don't confirm. I, I, I don't know if I should care if you guys confirm or deny it. Did I not call for a helicopter, by the way? Did I not even call for the damn thing? Please select a landing zone. Roger. Okay, I guess I didn't call for it. I thought I did. I might have pressed the wrong button. Or thought I already called for it. Anyway, my point is, if it's Liquid Snake, cool. It also begs the question, or at least brings up an interesting point, that they used Big Boss's DNA while he was he was just asleep or whatever, right? Is that what we're trying to say? Well, I guess technically it might have happened a little bit before that, but it definitely makes it definitely a little bit more interesting in terms of like. How did that kid come to be, and why is he in Africa, and all sorts of small details like that. So, yeah, I'll leave that as your food for a thought for the day. And for some reason, Quiet decided she was going to go with me. Well, I guess technically she was my buddy for this mission of going back to Mother Base. So anyway, I have a few updates for uh, what I've been doing off screen. First of all, someone was telling me about, uh, or asking me why I haven't taken a shower, and I was still trying to do the thing where I was staying unwashed until some something happens. I'm assuming it's either a cutscene or a, just a small bit of dialogue or something. Um, or you could just say I'm trying to match my girl, Quiet, because she covered in blood too. We, I'm just trying to match my girl, you know what I'm saying? We want to be covered in blood together. No, but seriously, uh, I haven't got this extra thing, so I've just decided to stay bloody. Um, if you didn't notice, in cutscenes, I've been getting cleaned off for free anyways, so... I figured out what the hell. I'll just let it happen naturally. If I get caught easier for being bloody, so be it. I want to see if I can get it on screen when it happens. Uh, yeah, because even when I play off screen, I haven't had anything special happen for being all bloody. Um, speaking of off screen, side ops, I've done a few. Uh, I actually did do another one of the capture wandering mother base soldiers, so I have another picture to give pause. I will do that. Um, I also did another one of the legendary gunsmith ones, which just led me to another legendary gunsmith that I have to find. Which I haven't done that one yet. But I have to go find another legendary gunsmith. Because we haven't actually found the actual legendary gunsmith. Kind of silly, but almost expected at this point. And who knows how many more times it'll chain together. Otherwise, I've done most of the rest of the other random ones. Which just keeps opening up more random ones. So we'll get to them all eventually. Um, anything else I did off screen that I need to mention? Probably not. 
I'll have some rewards I can pick up, probably for just some side ops that are done. Yep, some free stuff. And it's time to move on to a main mission. You guys ready for today's Can mission? What do we have? I know we have two missions to choose from. We got Close Contact and we got Aim True, Ye Vengeful. I'm thinking let's start with the two civilian engineers because, hell yeah. There's a female involved. You know I'm going to go save her first if I can help it. So we're on the way to save the bees, eh? Now, as for buddies, oh, should I stick with... For extracting somebody? Well, let's see. Right now, my buddies are doing pretty good, actually. My my dog's already at level 8. That's 8, right? Yeah, eight. And so is Quiet now from all the side ops I've been bringing her on. My, my D-horse is falling behind because it seems like every time I bring him along, he doesn't go up a level. How do I make him level up? Do I have... To, like, I bring him on a side op... I'll ride him for like half the half the distance or two thirds of the distance to get wherever I need to go, and then I always get off because I don't want to get caught riding around on him. Do I have to do things while riding around on him? Like I'm curious to know how I level him up a little bit faster, because just doing missions with him deployed doesn't seem to work. Um, and the D Walker, the only way to really upgrade that is to just buy the upgrades for it. You don't really level it up, um, which I have bought a few upgrades for it. We'll have to go back to using it at some point. Maybe I'll try it out on like a mission where I'm supposed to like kill everybody or. Kill a, kill a guy or something. I'll think about it. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Quiet. Most of you seem to want me to get her to the highest level. Right now, I currently have developing a new uniform and a new weapon for her, or at least a upgraded Guilty Butterfly for her. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with what I have for this mission. Stick with my sniper, I think, is probably a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Mm hmm. Okay, you know, let's do this. Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna rescue some bees, eh? And some dude, because they, they, they captured and stuff, and I'm, I lost track of what I was singing. But anyway, yeah. <sighs> oh, Lordy, Lord, Lordy, Lord. So, yeah. I was really just... Last episode when I was trying to think of who the kid was, I was just really not sure is more than anything. I was thinking of too many different people it possibly could be than actually trying to narrow it down to who it really was. And for all, all I know, I'm still wrong. But I don't know. I'd rather you guys didn't confirm nor deny it yet. Just let it be as it is. You don't have to... be like, yep, you got it right. You win. But it definitely makes sense. So anyway, let's investigate this infectious disease. Devil's house. The place with the earphones and the neck hole. Yeah, that's what we need. We need people who've been tortured to tell us how being tortured feels. How does it feel, baby, to be tortured by crazy, crazy motherfuckers? Extract to Seville, e e e e e e e e e e Oh, the other thing I should talk about real quick is the FOB thing. Pretty much all but like one person said, fuck FOB, don't even worry about it. All it's going to do is eat into your resources and time and make you lose more resources and soldiers. Because if you pour soldiers and money into it, you're just going to lose them if you're not going to maintain it. So you might as well just not even do it for the playthrough. The only positive thing is I would get more resources and stuff while I'm doing it. But the bad side is... I gotta keep up and pay attention, and I honestly don't care about the online that much, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Not even gonna worry about it. What I should worry about is these coyotes over here. Hey, yo, coyotes. I don't even know. Are they coyotes? Are they hyenas? Either way, they're down. If I wasted a shrink on them, I might as well fold from them as well. Gotta build up that zoo, though. Someone told me there's going to be a zoo. I don't know if that's true or false, but I'm, I'm down for a zoo. Anyway, we should just run. I didn't realize we were this far away from the yellow square. The yellow square. The yellow, the yellow, the yellow square. The yellow, the yellow, the yellow square. I'm wondering if we're going to get a freaking uh, uh, a suppressor for our sniper rifles at any point. I don't know if that's really realistic to have a suppressor on a sniper, but I'm hoping... Okay, that's fine. Let there be a squad on the way. You think I'm scared of the squad? I brought my squad. My one-man squad. Her name is Quiet. Oh, you thought it was a, a he? Oh, you thought I meant Big Boss. No, I'm talking about Quiet. She be that one-man squad, though. She know what she doing. 
She know what she's doing. I should have sent her over here to fucking scout. I didn't realize this place was... I thought it was, like, right ahead of me, but it's, I didn't know it was on the other side of this damn mountain. Hey, yo, baby. I need you over here. Hey, yo, baby. Hey, yo, baby, baby, baby. Baby, 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 baby. I'm gonna put her here, I think. I'm not entirely sure I know where she is right now, but I'm gonna put her there, wherever there is. I'm assuming it's gonna be a nice vantage point for where we're going. Because where we're going, we might need cover, I don't know. Probably picked wisely on my partner on this one, especially since it's during the daytime. Did she just run right by me and kind of make me wobble? Because my screen got all wobbly there for a second, I got a little confused. Confused. So if I didn't make myself clear on the fob thing, not gonna do the fob thing on the playthrough. It's not gonna be a thing. Fob shall stay fob and fob, fob to fob. Ooh, hey baby, how you doing, girl? You need to help her. Oh my god, I can hear outside my door my cat is meowing up a storm all of a sudden. Give me one second. Get in here. Come on. You dummy. Why'd you want out if you're gonna meow at me? Because you're hungry. I need to get you some food. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. My cat is, like, freaking out outside the door, meowing hella loud. It was either that or listen to her meow for the next half an hour to an hour. Didn't really want to do that, especially with her fucking bellowing meow. I think she's hungry. I know we're talking about my cat on this damn playthrough all of a sudden, but whatever. Hungry cats come first, apparently, because they fucking disturb the Let's Play otherwise. And I don't want to have to deal with that, because then I gotta ignore her. And then other people in the house are like, why yo cat meowing so much? And I'm like, I don't complete. know. She probably hungry though, yo. Oh god, there's a, there's a car coming. They're probably gonna see this balloon, but whatever, I don't care. You gonna care? I don't care. Is that a real guy? That's a fake guy. Lots of fake guys. Oh, is that the other prisoner? Where's he going? He's coming too. Are they gonna kill him? Oh, they're gonna... Oh, wait. Is he being led around? What is happening with him? He's just wandering around on his own? Well, whatever. Let him wander around on his own, then. I need to get this girl. The girl is surrounded over here. Is this a fake one over here, too? Analysis. Oh, that's a real guy. That'd be a real boy. Kind of wish I was doing this at night now, because this is a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes. Anyway, that guy's down. I don't have to worry about him. I'm thinking I'm gonna probably sneak around over here. I wonder if I should pop this guy before he gets too far away. Somebody tells me they're gonna grab her right now. Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, they're fucking. He kinda wandered off, so I need to. Alright, there. Leave the rest to us. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Okay, got him. Alright, I think they saw that balloon, so... In fact, I'm gonna get the prisoner first. Fuck, fuck the other guys. Prisoners, prisoners come first. Yeah, they're taking the girl right now. I need to hurry. On the positive side, I got him, I got him a little bit, uh... Distracted by my balloonness. So if I can get rid of some of these fools, even better. Come on, baby, we got this. Okay, they're leading her to the car. You gotta extract him. Fire. I'm gonna have her be a distraction right now. Damn it, she shot the guy with the helmet first. What a dummy. On the, on the, and then on the, on the super positive side, this shit's about to be nighttime right now. Is there a fucking sniper about to shoot at me all of a sudden? That's not cool. Shit, am I getting shot from behind? I'm gonna die. Fuck. I didn't realize I was getting shot from behind. That was dumb. Oh my god. Fucking, fucking quiet. You failed me for the last time. Just kidding. Now, do I, did I get a checkpoint there, or do I have to start from the very beginning of this mission? Because if I start from the beginning, I'm going to cut to where I was just... Alright, I'm right here. This, this is good enough. I don't care. We, we don't have to cut. Alright, so I kind of effed that up. 
I'm still gonna do the same thing because that guy was wandering aimlessly over to the left there. I want to pick him up first since he's wandering. I didn't realize. Oh, God damn it! I didn't realize that guy was looking right at me either. But yeah, um, yeah, it didn't even occur to me that there was a guy behind me. First of all, where the fuck did that guy behind me even come from? I don't know. Right, that guy's down. Okay, that's fine. You got a guy that's looking out for you, bro? Don't even worry about it. Now, where's that other dude? Is he wandering back there again? I don't see him yet. Oh, wait, he's right there. Oh, that's her. Alright, got that guy down. I'm gonna leave those guys be this time so they don't fucking get alerted to my balloon. Now, there's a sniper, which I'm not sure if it's him up on the tower or what. There's definitely a sniper. Keep that in mind. Okay, this guy's wandering over here. And there was a car that came up. Yeah, here it comes. I'm gonna try and cut him off before the car gets here. Alright, lay down, bro. There's a lot of dudes there. Lay down, bro. I'm here to save you. There you go. Stay down. Stay down right there. What are they all fucking like? Oh my godding about their. Are they oh my godding about the prisoners? Oh, the prisoners missing. That's what they're freaking out about. Fair enough. I wonder what the hell they're freaking out about. Oh, don't worry, I got her. Right, hold on. There's one guy I don't have marked there, and he almost looked right at me. He's right there. What the? Sometimes shooting him in the face makes no sense. I think she's covering me now, so. They don't know where I am, though. They're, she's firing while I'm not even getting shot at right now. Fuck, there's a. God damn it. Let me shoot him in the face. God damn it. Whatever, dude. For real? Yes, for real. Did that fucking stutter? I was asked to show that man around here. Dangerous work. Maybe I should listen to what she has to say for a minute. By the way, go ahead and fire tranks. I'm just curious to see what she has to say. Don't worry about me. All right, fuck it. She's got, she's got things. She's got things to say. People, to, people to do. You know what I'm saying? Keep firing, baby. You only got one more guy to take out. Take him out. He's hella far back. Oh shit, what the hell? Who's that guy? I didn't see him before. Extract him. Whatever, man. I'm gonna distract all these guys. They're just laying around now. Mission's over. All I gotta do is get the hell out of the area, so I'm just gonna go ahead and extract all these fuckers. Quiet has pretty much cleared this cleared this shit, so I ain't even tripping. My baby be clearing this. Those guys are out. Look at that shit. They are outy. They're like, nope. Nah, I'm not playing that game. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> My life is better than this place. Fuck all that shit. Wait, was there a guy there? Oh, there's a guy there. Man, baby, you just knocking bitches out. I ain't even see him laying around. I don't really want to keep this Jeep, so say see you later to that. If I keep, I mean, I don't want to drive it right now. Doesn't mean I don't want to keep it for later. Alright, there's some stuff laying around over here. Let's pick this shit up. Damn, I have so much biological material. I could go for some common metal and some fuel resources, man. Those are the two things I need the most. This fucking guy over here. He's just hiding. I ain't even worried about him. Alright, I'm trying to pick up these last couple soldiers. And I'm out this bitch. You know what? It's not a bad idea to get rid of these as well. Popping those gets you a little bit of heroism. Why not? Never hurt anybody. A little bit of that heroism, though. He's coming too. Roger that. 
And I keep getting more. I keep getting a comment every once in a while that tries to tell me not to use the helicopter to pick myself up. I should just like have the. Oh shit! There's red coming from that direction. Let's go. This way. Um. Anyway, I've had a. I get about a comment every other episode that tells me I should use return to ACC instead of going in the helicopter every time. And I mean, I suppose I could. Extraction arrived at metabase. But I just, I don't know. Most of the time, I can usually get picked up in the helicopter inside the mission zone. And going to the next mission usually takes forever on foot. So I'm kind of okay with going back to the helicopter every time. Now, I know I could use return to ACC, but I honestly don't want to accidentally lose progress. And I know I haven't, I mean, I haven't really tried it out yet. All right, looks like I'm going to get a mission finish here anyways, so... Um, I haven't really gotten to the point. Maybe I'll try it right now, now that I'm talking about it. I'll try to return to ACC right now, see what happens. Um, all I was going to say was that uh, I don't want to lose lose anything that I get in a mission just because I use the return to ACC. But I suppose if I literally use it right now, after I've done everything, if I don't grab anything else because the save, point's gonna, or save checkpoint's going to happen, then it'll be all good. We place the two targets in quarantine. I hope so. They don't show signs of anything, but we'll monitor them just the okay. same. If, they had access to the if you need an extra room, you can use my room as quarantine for the chick. Cipher <laughs> used them and would have eliminated them eventually. Mm -hmm. But we'll protect them here. They've agreed to that. After all, we help them out of the country as promised. The mission's complete. But boss, Sounds they've been behind the curtains at Ngumba. They examined the patients there nearly every day. They told us the patients were being made to listen to voices on tape. Uh -huh. But the male target added something interesting. He said he doesn't know what was on the tapes because there was no English version. Of all the voices that were shoved down those people's throats, English was one of them. That is weird, but then again, most of those people probably weren't speak English speaking, you know? Anyway, got another emblem thing. Got some more soldiers from all that extractions and volunteers and such going on. Sounds good. Well, Alrighty the then. That long will have a negative impact on your health. Why not head back to Mother Base for a shower once in a while? Is that all it says? Is that the amusing thing that it says when you're all bloody? That's what it says. That's all it says. If that's what I waited for, wasn't worth it. Not at all. You'll have to tell me if that was what it was. Wait, what? Cutscene. Boss is back. Is Let's he? Let's go refuel and load up on artillery. We're good to go, Chief. The hell? What's up with this fool? What's the matter? What's the matter, you? <laughs> Who are we pointing at? Who are we pointing at? Oh, snaps. Hey, girl. How you doing? Why are you so scared of her? What did you do to her? What did you do to her? What did you do? You think she's scared of you guys? Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, right. <laughs> One hand each. Night, night. What did he do to her? Why is he all mad at him? Or she's all mad at him. Why is she all mad at him? What did he do? He must have did or said something. Wait, what? What is she doing to him? Looks like it hurts. Ah. Stop this. Now. Hey, what the fuck is she doing? got some fake ass like teeth or something what the fuck I'm, I'm curious what the hell she was doing to his teeth she probably had a reason but what the hell was it what the fuck you freak give me a hand hold her still Hmm. 
This might mean I might not be able to use quiet for a bit. Dismissed. Or could this just could be a cutscene and afterwards all is normal again. Either way, I can never get enough of her. Now what's up with this fool that she cut his fucking teeth out? I, I don't get it. Maybe he maybe he tried to sexually harass her. Hey, she wasn't having none of it. Her. Doesn't explain the others. If you had every chance to kill them. Oh, I see. Tighten security on her cell. This happens a second time. There won't be a third. Fair enough. I see. It was just one of those soldiers that she recognized that like tortured her or was around when she was tortured maybe or something, you know, that kind of that kind of thing. Getting payback on some of these douchebag soldiers. About it, Eli. What about him? I'd heard that one product of the Les Enfants Terribles project went missing in Africa. The age would be about right. All right. I think no, he's I'm answering I think it's Eli. my uh But I want to run a genetic test all the same. Don't all worry. Right. I'll have it done without him noticing. The Fair test enough. may take some time. But I'll tell you as soon as we have the results. <sighs> if that's what he thinks the the kid is, then that only further confirms that I probably think it's Liquid Snake. That actually makes sense. The Le Enfant Terrible is the snakes. So, it makes sense. Anyway, um, this is the med platform, I believe, right? Yeah. I, ha I said I have another tape for, or a picture for pause to look at. Since we're here, why not? I wasn't planning on doing that in this episode, or at least not yet. I was going to do it at the end of the episode, but we're already here. What why waste time? Snake? I got another photo for you, baby. Check it out. Memories all alone in the moonlight. Oh, somebody took this while we were fishing. Uh huh. Okay. I figured out that it doesn't really matter if you catch a fish or not. Just waiting for a fish together can be the most fun of all. As long as you're getting hammered drunk, hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Chico got all worked up and almost fell into the sea. Silly. When they do some more fishing, tell me, okay? Because there's none of that going on around I'm here in this sorry, big ass freaking thing. Hurts. Could you let me rest? Well, sounds like she's having less pain than she did the last few times. Last few times she just went, ah! This time she just said, let me rest. My head hurts. That means the pictures are helping. I'm actually very curious to where, see where these cutscenes go with pause. So I'm really going to try and do all the wandering mother base stuff to get more and maybe all of her cutscenes. I really do want to see where that goes. That's one of the more interesting uh, little side ventures I'm hoping to finish. So I will be doing side ops until I can get some more of those. Um, otherwise, what are we doing for the rest of this episode? We already, we already got... I already had to waste time on... Uh, waste time? Okay. We had to spend more time on a cutscene. I should stop using the word waste. It's not waste of time if it's part of the game. We spent more time listening to a cutscene and watching a cutscene. So anyways, um, maybe I'll do a side up. The thing is, all the side ops I have are not interesting. The only one that's kind of interesting is the extracting the soldier. See, if I go do the next main mission, I'm likely to activate another cutscene or something. I don't know, maybe I'll do it, whatever. What am I worried about? If I record enough for two episodes, who gives a fuck? Only I give a fuck, because then I don't have to record again tomorrow. Not like I don't want to record tomorrow, but then I don't have to. I'm not obligated to. I can get ahead of myself. It's not something that's unprecedented. There's nothing wrong with it. Why do I worry about only recording one episode per day? I guess that's just kind of like only doing enough for one episode a day, just so you guys can get some input before I do another one. But whatever. It's not like end-of-the-world status. I can always comment back on anything that happens in between and be like, yo, I'll address that in another episode, the next one that I record. That's the main thing with these blind LPs. I don't like to get too far ahead because I like seeing feedback as I go. If I get the whole damn thing done, then it's like, well, sure, it was cool for me to play it blindly, but I like the feedback from you guys along the way. It's, it's what makes this most interesting about doing blind Let's Plays. It really is. And I know I've probably explained myself before, but I might as well reiterate. Just gonna double check that there's no important side ops. There's gotta be more important side ops at some point, right? Because so far we only have the two. And I don't know how we're gonna get a third one. And it looks like I can go and strike the dude. Yeah, I'm looking, yeah, see, nothing really that interesting is available. So let's just go do the next main ops. Screw it. Next main mission. mission. Here I come. Time to aim true, ye vengeful. We're gonna go, what does it say? Groups of households are broken away from the. Extract both of the. Oh, okay. 
Got it. Child soldiers commanders or something like that. Now, when they say I have to extract children, I'm always like, does that mean I have to... I'm actually going to bring the dog with me this time, I think. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Do I have anything new for him? Not really. Um, the reason I'm going to bring the dog is because I don't. if I can't trank the kids, which is what I tried to do before... Wait, no, I could trank them. I couldn't choke them out. But I couldn't Fulton them, is what I was trying to say. So if I can trank the kids, then i got to put them on the helicopter. There's no reason for me to have Quiet do it for me. I can just do it myself. It's different if I have to trank them and I can Fulton them. That's easy. But if there's going to be one of those child soldier missions where I can't Fulton anyone, i got to put them all on the helicopter, which means i got to plan this out a little bit more strategically. <laughs> But anywho, we'll see, we'll see. Let's not jump to conclusions until we've actually started the mission. Mission objectives are to extract the child soldier's commander and their captive, the general's number two. Got it. This child soldier platoon decided to break away from the Mbeli militants. Got it. They took the number two captive and have occupied an abandoned village. Got it. Start by checking that location on your map. So we're gonna go with child stars again. Child Remember last time we dealt with child stars? An enemy, but they're just kids. They went fucking ape shit as soon as they got alerted. I had to be more careful this time. On the positive side, we're doing this at night, so that's always helpful. On the negative side, we're flying away from where I need to go. Stop flying away from where we need to go, helicopter. Just let me out already. You're getting further away from where I need to go, homie. Got that dispatch mission completed. Alright, dog, let's do this. Wait my dog a little bit of a let's do this pat and let's go we got this dog d-o-g homie now i know they call the dog dd and he's part of like cutscenes and stuff but why do they let you name the dog they could still call him d-dog even if you name him i mean i know they would never let snake say the name out loud duh that wouldn't make any sense but at the very least i'd have something to refer to him as i mean i guess i could have just named him for the hell of it since his name is d-dog and that's not that interesting but now I feel like we've already established that I'm calling him D Dog, he's double D, whatever. So I, I don't have any reason to make up a name now. I should have just thought of that about that at the beginning, man. But either way, whatever. I'm not gonna fucking dwell on it. Also, it's nice to have the dog because he'll sniff out my enemies. I don't have to spot them myself. I just remember that as well. Is best conducted from high vantage points. Yes, I know. I've marked a good spot on your map. Take a look at your not sure if these are animals I'm coming up on or uh he marked a spot on my map for reconnaissance. I don't need no damn map for that shit. I know how to perform reconnaissance, bro. I don't need your suggestions for reconnaissance. You think I need your reconnaissance tips? I know how to fucking scout a place. No one said I was good at it, but I know how to do it, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your insight, ocelot. But I will destroy you if you try to tell me what to do again. Anyway, the kid right there. Mark them. Two kids. Mark them. Take a good look at their faces so Apparently we can ID the targets. Another one there. I see a prisoner there. The dog is smelling these bitches out, so that's so good. We can ID the targets. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to fucking extract all of them. Well, can I extract all of them? I mean, I guess I could try. Anyway. I can't punch them to death. I can only trank them. Keep that in mind. Your salama swa. I can't understand what you say, but I kill you anyway. Right, I'm just gonna pop both these bitches so fast they won't even know how to react. What the? How? Do, how? How? He's a child. He should react accordingly. Dude, I sh. I'm mad at the fucking aiming. Can I extract him normal? No, you have to extract them through the helicopter. All right, so we got to leave them out. On the positive side, they're kids, so the trank should last a while. I'm assuming it will. It'll at least last long enough for me to pop a couple more of these little kids. So let's just go get the other ones uh, knocked out, and then we'll go ahead and call in the helichopper to pick me up. The rain is going to help visibility as well, or I should say not help their visibility. Why is the dog barking at that's the general's brother. His number two. Get him out of there, boss. Is there another kid in there? I don't know. 
can't see. Oh, there's, there's some stuff in here. I might leave this one in here. Anyway, we gotta call in the... Call in the chopper before more bitches get here. Where is the nearest chopper? Yeah, support helicopter Security will be tighter now. Watch yourself. Wait, can I? I think I might be able to extract this guy. He looks big. Damn, there's hella kids coming. You see this shit? About to be surrounded by kids. Okay, pick him up. Boss, another child soldier has entered the village. Must have been out on patrol. Looks like they had more than one patrol out. Security will be tighter now. Watch your. Yeah, I heard you say that the first time. You know what? Actually, dismiss the helicopter. The helicopter picking me up on this side is probably a better idea. I know it's further away, but it's going to be faster, or not faster, but safer. I'm going to go ahead and take this kid and throw him over here, and I'm going to go grab the, the general, and I'm going to take him as well, and I'm out, because I'm not sticking around here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I'm not even worried about this kid. Or not the one I'm carrying, but the one on the ground over here. Will he just stay there if I leave him there? I mean, I gotta run pretty far, so... Oh, well, the one I'm carrying is a little bastard anyways. Not like it's his fault he's a little bastard, but he is a little bastard. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. It's a little kid, but you know what? It's funny. Let me get this other guy. I was planning on taking all the, all the kids, but if I can't call the helicopter closer... Which... Was there a thing I could have destroyed to make the helicopter land closer? Because if there was, I should have done that. I'm not so sure that that was possible. It might have been. Either way, this, this mission will be over before it even starts. We'll have fi filled this in well. I'm thinking I might, um, you know what? Because I'm going to be doing this for a minute, I know the kid is talking, but it's not important. He's, he's saying words I can't understand. Let's listen to Africa for a bit. Hard to believe how many of those bipedal weapons have popped up around Africa. When did that start? No more than six months ago. Didn't really hit me until I came here. They're not supposed to be in use yet. Emmerich says they were still doing the last round of fine tuning. The doctor has no idea. His research is already. It might be faster if I call in a damn Both car or a horse or, or something. It's all right. I'd rather listen to Even some tapes, so, anyways. We're spreading much too fast. Sure, the Walker gears can operate in any terrain. Their mobility's just as good in the jungle as it is in the desert. That would come in handy in a place like Africa. They are modules that can. One I think I'll leave this kid right here on the ground and then systems. just and take this mind, general bitch so he doesn't go ape shit and start alerting everyone. There must be another reason they're so widespread. Like what? It's all about needs. To small-time outfits like most of these private forces, this product is a dream come true. Hell, it goes beyond PFs. This is the ultimate weapon, the forbidden fruit. For anyone with an enemy to fight and people to defend. The nuclear deterrent. Exactly. Sounds familiar, huh? PFs are all operating off your playbook. You created these times. But could this be the new weapon in Africa that Emmerich talked about? If it is, why is Cypher letting everyone and his brother get their hands on one? What comes next? Selling nuclear weapons in the open? Making them public property? Why don't they give that a try? Then the next war really will be fought with sticks. Right. The man we're dealing with isn't foolish enough to make a suicide pact with the world. So, what is Cypher really up to? Indeed, that is something they're still trying to figure out exactly. But it all seems to be nuclear, so we expect more nuclear things going on. Right. Now you just need to extract the general's number two. Don't worry, I got him. I'll be right back with him. Let's go ahead and start listening to another cassette tape while I wait, though. Probably more things about Africa is a good idea, so let's go ahead and listen to about the private force zero risk stuff. Security Should be a short one. A military outfit compared to the other two PFs in this region. The company sends operators to conflict regions around the world, not just Africa. They have decades of combined experience. They're also based out of South Africa. Their headquarters is in Johannesburg. A lot of their work involves corporate security for South African companies, but a good number of their operators are retired South African military. So don't mistake them for a bunch of security guards. Got it. They're military, not just a bunch of douchebag dudes that don't know what the hell they're doing. I get it. Understood. Next. More Africa stuff? More Africa stuff. Rogue Coyote operates mainly out of Africa these days. Of the three PFs, they're the smallest. 
However, oh, that's the name of their group. Up okay, Rogue the Coyote. Rhodesian SAS after the country collapsed four years ago. Picture their entire organization as one big special forces unit. With Rhodesia a British colony, the Rhodesian SAS had its origins in 22 SAS C Squadron. They started out as a group known as the Southern Rhodesia Volunteers. But in 51, they were incorporated into 22 SAS as members of the British Commonwealth and deployed to fight guerrillas in the Malayan emergency. Even now, 22 SAS keeps the C Squadron designation empty in recognition of their service. In a way, you could say the SAS almost makes up the core of Rogue Coyote. Later on, they were bolstered by other talent, including former Sella Scouts and 32 Battalion. These guys are direct descendants of the best special forces in the world. They won't go down without a fight. You damn Don't get right careless. they won't. Kunganga Mine. The civil war's been going on in that region for the last 20 years. It's being fought by what are now two ethnic groups. Kid is talking to me again, Buddha by the way. And the Mbele. Originally, you could barely tell them apart. But the reason for the current armed conflict goes back to World War One. After the war. All right, let's finish right, this tape. Out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Oh no! Get Mission no! Complete. No! Oh! I didn't realize it was outside the hot zone. Well, we'll come back to that tape then. Oh well. It, w it didn't sound that interesting, anyways. It really didn't sound that interesting. I might just finish listening to that one off screen since it wasn't interesting. I'll definitely listen to the stuff about the house, the house of the dead on on screen. D dog, one more level up and we will max him out. Sweet. And you know what happens when we max him out? We never use them again. No, I don't know if that's true, but Boss, maybe. About how we report this one to the client. I'll tell them we took heavy resistance from the renegade platoon and the hostage was killed in the firefight. Also, their leader wouldn't let himself be taken alive. I doubt the client will pay us for this one, but we got a big enough reward from the general's number two instead. Intel. As for the number two, he's saying he wants to join Diamond Dogs. I guess he knows what that means for him. He said, if I'm working for you, I can be number two or number 200 for all I care. Whatever, man. That's how you want to do it? Sweet. And we got a quarantine platform. Okay, cool. Elite soldiers. Got that, got that number two, though. You know how we do with that number two, yo. Boss, we have an emergency. Many of our staff are falling uh -oh. down. At first, it seemed like a common cold, but before we knew it, blisters started popping up on their chests, and... Damn it. Got an epidemic on our hands? I'll fill you in at the ACC. Just get in the chopper. Alrighty. Chopper's right next to me, right? Unless they change, unless they fucking put me in a different spot. I'm hoping they put me in the same spot. Although we could try the return to ACC thing, unless they're gonna do it to me automatically. Because we just got a checkpoint right there. Nope, put me in there automatically. That works. Mission look closely. Updated. All right, look closely. Those are the symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms, parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a spargatum. We don't know the root of infection, or what causes symptoms to develop. Boss, do you remember seeing these symptoms before? The bodies floating around in the oil facility? The bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House? This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa. Boss, the situation is urgent. We need to quarantine the infected and contain the pathogen. Priority now is to prevent more casualties. But the problem is, how do we tell who's infected? During the incubation period, we have no way of knowing who's clean. You'll have to try and guess who's infected before they go symptomatic and quarantine them. That'd be easy if we just knew the route or vector of the infection. From now on, if you even suspect a staff member's infected, use your iDroid to order them into quarantine. Given the situation, the men won't submit to quarantine just because I or the medical team tell them to. But they will listen to you. Of course, it's just a temporary measure until we find a permanent solution. But at least they'd be in solitary isolation so they won't infect each other and we get the mental care they need. If we do nothing, we'll only lose more people. We have no choice. Boss, open your eye droid. Okay, so I have to fucking 
figure out who's infected? Explain That's weird. Quarantine staff members suspected of infection. Please Those do, because I don't understand. You and select staff management. I'm already here, bro. There's already First, eight guys in the there. Facility we've set up. We'll isolate anyone who's already symptomatic at the quarantine facility. I guess it says symptomatic down there at the bottom. Staff who are infected, but asymptomatic. So how do we identify them? Good question. At present, we have no way to tell them apart. Okay. But there has to be something for us to go on. If you notice anything, reassign staff you suspect are infected to the huh. quarantine facility. We'll monitor them and then contact you if there's a change in their condition. Correctly quarantining these asymptomatic infected will reduce the number of new infections. You should continue with your missions as usual. If Cypher is behind this, going after them should help us determine the root cause of this epidemic. Also, until we identify the pathogen, we can't fire or dispatch any staff. We cannot let this thing spread. Oh, I can't dispatch Boss, anybody? Get to the bottom of this fast. We're counting on you. Well, this is going to be great. I have to figure out what the hell's common between all these shitty guys. I have no idea. What's common? What makes me think that you're fucking unique? Is it the look on their face? I can't help but wonder if it's a look on the face. Nah. Not a look on his face. Anything about where they're from? Turk, English, Russian. 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 It really is the only unique thing amongst them, but there's no way in hell English Russian is going to be it because there's so many English Russian dudes. So many. If you're already in the sick bay, maybe I should put him in there. I don't know. Uh, okay, besides the English Russian, which is like too, it's too obvious of a thing. So, can I tell if anybody's symptomatic or they auto he automatically put people who are symptomatic in there? Is there a way I can freaking tell? If there's any way I can tell. He said if there's any way I can tell. Why would there be a way I can tell, man? It's hard enough as it is. Can't tell by just looking at him, he said. To be fair, there's a lot of English Russian dudes. But there's also a lot of not English Russian dudes now that I'm looking at it. I don't know. Something else I could look at? Oh, 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 let me see. Is there something descriptive about these guys that are helpful? I don't know, those other ones had like, had like, things that were like, clean or whatever, right? Didn't they? I thought I saw some, the one that said they're like, clean and... I thought I saw one say that, that guy was like clean or whatever. Maybe it just meant his ability. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Gotta be something unique about these bastards. Whatever, I'll have to think about it. As that, but as it is, I am not entirely sure what we Boss, need to do. A new job's come in. I figured. It's a hit. I'm the human trafficker who sent Shivani and the others to Nzoya Badiabulu, where you ran into Skullface. The thing is, this guy might know something about the disease that's going around Mother Good, Base. because we need to know the something are now. To the ones we saw at that factory. Start by checking the mission details on your iDroid. I'm definitely going to do that mission next. I'm not even going to do any side ops between now and tomorrow. I'm going to do nothing at all. I'm not even going to play the game. I'm not even going to look at the game. I'm not going to do anything. Because if we do, infection will spread. In fact, I'm probably going to quit right now just so that the infection doesn't spread while I'm sitting here. So in the next episode of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 5, hopefully we can get to the root of this infection and not let it spread too hard. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace!